I actually decided I wanted to fight before I'd ever trained. I went in on my first training and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna fight. And my trainers sort of chuckled a little bit. I wasn't exactly, you know, a superstar. But the second I walked in the gym sort of thing, five months into it, I had my first fight. Um, then five years later, I've had over 30. Keep going. I'm Alexei Bet Serapisos, I'm 21 years old. Uh, I'm a two time WMC North Island champion, a TBA New Zealand light welterweight champion, and the current 62kg king in the ring. I started training at Jai when I was 16, so five years ago. My wife was pregnant with Luke and my oldest son, so I've always sort of been training while I've had kids. A lot of people say they fight for their kids and things like that, but I really don't. You know, my kids get no benefit out of me coming home beat up, spending 20 hours a week away from them training in the gym. So I don't sit and pretend like I do it for them. I do it for purely selfish reasons, and I'll admit that because it's true. One thing that I do use my kids for is motivation for training, you know, and that's really just to be a better person, which helps me to train harder, you know, not be a lazy person when it comes to training, not be a lazy person in life. The hardest part for me with fighting is being away from my family so much. I'm very fortunate to have my wife Olivia who's extremely supportive of me. Um, I quite often come home looking beaten. She puts up with it quite well. She actually gives me a lot of grief with it. She can take photos of my black eyes when I'm asleep and then Snapchat them to her friends. Yes. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty lucky. So obviously, King in the Ring is up there as a big one. Um, you know, getting announced the winner after hard training and my mind being up and down leading up to that fight. You know, I felt good that night, trained hard for the fight and then fought really well in all three fights. So that was, that was really satisfying to win. And um, so my name was called out first, followed by Sunny. I was quite happy when that happened because I knew no one else would think that I was going to beat Sunny except for me and the people I'd been training with leading up to that. So the plan was to move forward, punch and knee really and I got off to a good start and um, thought I won the first two rounds quite convincingly and I went into the third round and then Sunny landed some harder shots than both other rounds put together. Anyway, fight ended, was announced that I won the fight, I was quite happy, I was very confident that I had won the fight being under King of the Ring rules. Left that fight unscathed, went into the crowd and people were quite happy, which was quite cool, it was quite motivating. Um, watched a bit of Kane versus Pumapi, and the winner of that is who I'd fight in the semi-finals. Kane was the only person in the tournament that I didn't actually want to fight because he's big and he's good and he's strong. Um, so I was hoping Pumapi would win, thought that would be an easier fight. Sure enough, Kane dominated Pumapi. Um, so I was drawn to fight Kane in the semi-finals. Um, so I got into the ring with Kane, it was a very hard fight, it was very back and forth, very gruelling. End of the third round came, we were both quite sore, quite tired. Um, went over to Kane's corner to thank them and um, Aaron Boys, his trainer, said, oh, you know, I, I think you're going to go another round, good luck. I said, oh yeah, cool, thanks. And sure enough, it was a draw, um, so we had to do a fourth round. I was a bit fresher going into the fourth round because he had been hitting my face and I had been hitting his body. Um, turns out I had broken two of his ribs, I found out later, um, so he's very tough. At the end of the fourth round, I was announced the split decision winner. Went back to my corner, was icing after this fight because I was a bit more sore than the first fight. Um, watched a little bit of Joey versus Chris, who was the other semi-final. Joey was announced unanimous winner. I secretly hoped he'd be quite tired coming into the third fight. Um, got into the third fight and sure enough, Joey was completely rejuvenated, which was great. Um, it got off to a bit of an awkward start in the first round. Um, got in there and the first thing that happened was he landed this solid head kick and I remember thinking to myself, did he just kick me in the head? Yep. And then I sort of did a little bit of chicken dance and I was like, yep, he got me. And then he landed this left punch, it was southpaw, so it was a hard left punch, right on my ear and I remember thinking, oh, that hurts. Turns out that I completely, you know, exploded my eardrum. Anyway, I went back to my corner. They were telling me exactly what I needed to do, right kick, right knee, right punch, you know. Went into the second round. A little bit awkward at first, then I managed to catch his rhythm off guard while I had my rhythm and I landed a right knee, um, a good right knee, and he sort of did the whole oof. Um, and at that point I knew that I had it, so I spent the rest of the fight really chasing him down, kneeing him, trying not to get punched in the face too much. Um, come 
that end of the third bell, my corner went crazy because they were very confident I'd won. I was quite happy, I thought I'd won. It was announced majority decision winner. Um, that was the end of it really, it was a good night, a good hard night. I had two cuts and a big black eye so I went back to my stepdad's mechanic shop and he um, stitched me up in, in the, the garage which was good. So next on November 2nd I'm fighting in a WMC World Grand Prix with the winner getting a WMC I1 world title. Um, so that's quite exciting, that's over in Hong Kong. Um, it's at 57 kgs which is a bit lighter than I normally fight but you know you take the opportunities you get offered. Looking forward to that, training hard, training's coming along really good for that, um, diet's coming along really good for that. So it's a big step up in competition, you know, it's going to be televised to a lot of people. So it's a really good way for me to get exposure and start getting fights overseas, you know, more so than just Australia. Um, it's really build my name, get out there, fight better competition, fight, you know, high level, just a really doing what I set out to do.